I know it took a lot longer than I expected, but we finally have it, the tankiest build that you currently can make in the game. Now the build is only gonna get better as they raise the max level cap with the new DLCs, but if 99 is the highest we can have for a virtue, you'll not be seeing much of a difference um, in the defensive stats of this build because we are almost maxed out on both HP and defense. It wouldn't be a tank build otherwise, right? And I'll be sure to make an improved version of this build if or when they release new grace bonuses for tank builds in the future. So for this build, we're gonna have to put on the armors with the highest amount of defense, which happens to be the Dreadstar armor set. It's currently the heaviest armor set in the game and the set bonuses are pretty decent as well. Now, I'm not gonna be using the Quake Griffin Hammer because, well, as you know already, I don't like slow weapons and that's why I don't need the fourth bonus from this set and therefore I went with the flying general griefs for the leg armor which will provide you with 12 bonus HP and the defense you get from this is almost the same as the dread star leg armor. Now if you want to use the heaviest armor sets in the game you will need a significant amount of points in earth virtue so you should definitely pick up a weapon that scales mainly with earth just so you do not you not only have good defense but also good damage as well and heavy weapons happen to have the highest scaling with earth virtue so that's going to be perfect right well not really because they the heavy weapons they don't scale at all with wood which is the most important virtue if you want to have a lot of HP. Sure you can have a lot of points into both earth and wood and use the hammer but you are losing out on a significant amount of damage and because I do not want that I decided to use the polearm mace which has the highest scaling with wood and the second highest scaling with earth. And because we are going for a tank build where the wood virtue and the earth virtue are more important than anything else currently in the game. Um, therefore, this weapon not only, if, if you're using this weapon, then you not only have like a really high defense, but your damage is going to be really, really high as well. Now I'm also using three pieces of Grace Up Yuan Si Tianzan and the, and the bonuses we get from this. The first one, spirit, spirit gained from normal attacks increased by 3.5%, then damage received while attacking reduced by 23 and positive effect duration increased by 4.1%. Now, the special effects that you need to focus on or you should be stacking on your gears if you want to run this build or want to get the most out of this build are going to be, um, so let's start with the weapons. So the first one, spell duration increase, second one is positive effect duration increase, and the third one is spirit gained from normal attacks. Now, we're going to talk about the spirit gain from normal attacks in just a little bit um, in more details. Now, the other special effects that you're going to be needing for this build are going to be, of course, HP, and then damage received reduced. So if you go to our special effects page, we have HP increased by 82. Now this is the HP that we're not getting. Now we're not getting this HP from uh, however many points we have in, in Wood Virtue. This is from special effects and set bonuses. The spell duration increased by 17.2%. Then damage received reduced by 11.1%. Then total positive effect duration increased by 21.3%. Now some of you might be confused by uh, what what's the difference between positive effect duration and spell duration. Well, uh, when it comes to spell duration, the spell duration or any of the wizardry spells that you can use to buff yourself or your weapon or debuff the enemy. So like, let's say uh, the enhanced defense wiz wizardry spell. It increases your defense for a limited period of time, right? So if you are increasing the spell duration, then the how long that buff lasts on you for, that's going to be increased and it also increases any of the imbuement spells that you can use to imbue your weapons with one any of the five elements that we have available in the game and positive effect duration are those um that you can proc by deflecting or hitting enemies with martial arts or wizardry spells like those above that are in like they are highlighted in blue so let me show you. So like like we have the damage reduction upon wizardry spell. This is a positive effect. And if you are stacking positive effect duration increase, then the, that's going to increase the duration of this uh, how, for how long this buff lasts on you. Now let's talk about the spirit gain from normal attacks. And before that, we're going to... Uh, and before, even before that, uh, the accessories, uh, the only thing that I'm focusing on is spell duration increase. This one gives me 5.8% increased spell duration, and this one gives me 5.7%. Um, 
Okay, now on to the stats. Wood Virtue has 92 points, and the good thing, I, I, I think out of all the virtues we have available, Wood is my most favorite, because it not only increases your HP, but it also increases the spell duration. So as you can see, we have 171.1% spell duration. It's really, really big. It also increases your spirit defense, I think. Now the second one, Earth Virtue, because if you don't have a significant amount of points into Earth, you'll not be able to use this armor normally. And the metal and water, we really don't care about them. Uh, fire virtue, we have one point now. Speaking of that, so the spirit gain from normal attacks. Now, um, if you remember, we have 17.2% increased spirit gain from normal attacks, right? Now, if you want to get the same by in putting points in fire virtue, you have to, you need to have your fire virtue at 30 to be able to get 17.6% increased spirit gain from attacking the enemies, which is what we are getting just by investing um, or stacking the special effects on our gears. So we can save those 29 points and put them on either wood and or earth. So as you can see, we have 1021 HP, then we have phys physical resistance 24%, defense 762, spirit defense 658, um, then we have spell duration 171.1%, and these are not that important. Now on to the wizardry spells. Um, these two uh, make you even more tanky. So illusionary cell. For a certain period of time creates an invisible shield around you that absorbs a certain amount of damage. So it gives you, it not just, it, it doesn't, like, unlike enhanced defense, it doesn't increase your defense. It gives you a shield that absorbs a certain amount of damage and as soon as that you have taken that amount of damage, you have to apply that shield on yourself again. Um, the second one, lion's roar. Um, so this is what it looks like. So as you can see, it's an AOE spell, and you, 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 can, you are able to hit enemies with the spell as well. Now, let's go back to that spell description. So, let's have a shout that generates a soft wave. Enemies hit will be forced to lock onto you. Also decreases the damage taken from enemy attacks for a certain period of time. So, it, in, it increases your defense, in, in a sense. Now, something else that I didn't show you, if I go to my special effects page, as you can see, we have power drop on enemy upon wizardry spell and damage reduction upon wizardry spell. So as soon as you cast your, or use your lion's roar, hits, hit a single enemy, at least a, one enemy with it, you're going to get the power, um, the, you're going to be, you will apply the power drop debuff on the enemies, and you also get the damage reduction buff on your character. So it makes you even more tanky, and you also, def of course, you get the, bonus defense from that spell as well and also the illusionary cell paired with it makes you super super tanky and then the third one is going to be stone weapon and because we are not focusing on any other virtues other than wood and earth so you can you, are, you will be able to use either stone weapon or lightning weapon but if you ask me i will definitely suggest you to use stone weapon now the last one is frost lance now i have talked about this in, i talk about this in every single one of my videos uh frost lance it, it's just really really cheap on your spirit gauge like it just drains 260 um, spirit um, and you can apply that buff on yourself and also the debuff on the enemy by hitting them with the frost lance and because it your lion's road takes a um, like eats out eats up a significant amount of your spirit gauge so you cannot like, like keep spamming and and the thing is that because you have the spell duration and positive effect duration this buff is going to last on you for a pretty long amount of time right but the problem is that the, the these two the uh, damage reduction and power drop they are not going to be lasting for that long so you cannot just keep spamming your lion's roar and just f fully deplete your uh, your spirit gauge and because that's going to put you in a really tight spot. So Frostlance is going to be really, really handy in those situations. And for the Divine Beast, we are using Tanksy. And mainly for the power drop to the target enemy that a wizard spell hits, this um, special effect. And we also have increased spirit damage dealt to enemies when they are affected by negative effect. Now, because of the nature of the build, and because you're, we also have an AoE spell that we can hit enemies with, so they should be having at least one negative effect on them during, like, during the entire fight. If you, if, you are, if you know what you are doing. So we are definitely going to be benefiting a lot from this special effect. The status effect accumulation doesn't make sense. Wizard spell damage, we really don't care about that one either. So one last time, um, let's go over these uh, special effects. HP increased by 82, spell duration increased by 17.2%, then um, speed damage to enemies with negative effects increased by 102 now damage received reduced by 11.1%, then damage received while attacking reduced by 23 
then positive effect duration increased by 21.3 percent spirit gain from normal attack 17.2 percent that's going to be equivalent to having 30 points into fire virtue then of course we have power drop on enemy upon wizardry spell uh, damage reduction upon wizardry spell and spirit vulnerability when you deflect an enemy's critical blow and of course we definitely need the set bonus requirement mitigation so hopefully i went over all all the things that i needed to talk about if i did forget something then you can ask me in the comments so there you have it um, the tankiest build you can currently make in the game uh, and be sure to let give this build a try i think you, you are definitely going to love it and if you are if you know like properly like do not spam your wizardry spells and attacks and other random shit um, it's going to put you in a really tight spot and the main reason is that the the build can get a lot stronger because as they keep increasing the highest level cap, you will be able to put more points into metal virtue. And what metal does mainly is that it reduces the, um, sp um, the st spirit consumption by your wizardry spells. And because these wizardry spells eat, eat up um, a significant portion of your spirit gauge, so it's just kind of risky. So you have to be very careful not to um, end up completely depleting your spirit gauge and then hit by the enemy and you're going to stagger that, stagger you. Um, and you're going to be in a really really tough situation so be sure to be a little bit careful but again it's a tank build so you can just go ham you know so yes yeah, so that's gonna be all and um, let me know if you enjoyed this and as always um, I'll see you in the next one and take care until then and I'm out peace